there and welcome to Kismet Rising. So this is like the third take of this video. I've been shooting it in my car and I've had so many distractions along the way and my batteries died and my storage has been full on the other phone and I'm shooting this on my phone. So I hope that this one comes through to you. It's exactly 11.11 my time here today on the 11th of November 2019. And actually what I'm doing right now is I am giving you a little idea of the energy of the twin of the twin what we call the twin flame or the soul connection energy i just want to talk a little bit about it now uh if you are regular on my channel then you'll know that i've done something like similar to this uh, about a month ago and I'll link it up here somewhere and basically there I talked about a shift that has taken place which I will briefly expound upon now but I also want to talk about where where else what is the other statuses of twin flame relationships at this moment or the soul connection so I'm going to stop talking about twin flames even though I've used uh, the the this uh, this clickbait to bring you here um, I know that most of you kind of identify with um, this term, um, not clickbait, this term uh, twin flame. And this is why I've used this, but I prefer to refer to this energy as a soul connection because this is how I see it ultimately. And I think there's uh, the definition, the way in which people have defined it is very restrictive and it hasn't actually, uh, it doesn't, for me, it doesn't resonate as truth. So I read energy and uh the way in which people define the twin flame energy in the, in the social in social media is basically not the truth for me, and therefore I can't I talk about it because uh, I I refer to this term, but but when I when I pick up this term, I also pick up a lot of other energy which is uh, false, and so I prefer to refer to it as soul as soul connection. So um, yes, so welcome to your soul connection <laughs> energy status update <laughs> we can call it that all right so basically in the last video uh which i've already mentioned which i uploaded at the beginning of october i think it was i talked about the shift that had taken place during 2019 for most people who have been in this kind of soul connection energies you would have caught the wave and you would have gone onto the shore okay you would have managed to have learned the lessons and helped have it have had it help you in your life in a way that has changed you forever in a way that has touched you really deep inside of you that has healed you it's as if this energy has reached deep down into your core and healed something in you that desperately needed healing it's almost as if it would have unblocked you in order to go on in your life now and to go on and follow your path or it might have led you to your path Okay, you might have started started studying something different or start a new type of work as a result of the soul connection energy. Or you might just have a greater understanding about yourself. All right. So this is the first kind of energy that people would have been experiencing. For others of you who have not caught the wave, you will still be struggling with this. And this is something that if you don't confront this, if you don't see it for what this energy is, it's going to kind of haunt you. It's almost like you're in a state of hell where you aren't really able to um, to fully grasp what this energy means to you and what the significance of this energy is. And you are seeking something that this energy is not bringing to you. So as long as you are along that path, you are going to be struggling, you're going to be in pain, it's going to be really difficult for you to actually cope with that. And the advice that I can give you to that is try to remain open and try not to place any outcomes or any expectations on this person who you was feeling uh, connected to on a soul level. See what this person brings to you or how this person makes you feel and see how you can work with that within yourself and within your own perception, okay? Don't expect this person to bring you something, uh, you know, a gold ring or a commitment or a true love or everlasting um, commitment. It's not going to necessarily happen in that way. I'm not gonna say it's not gonna happen in that way because for a few of you, it will actually. But uh, that is not the purpose of this energy. This pur The purpose of this energy is to help you to work with yourself, to heal yourself, to be able to catch this wave, the last wave, uh, well, there'll be many more in the future, but anyway, it'll be, it's be able to, to catch this last wave this year, so to say, or next year, 
to be able to come onto a new place with yourself in terms of your own consciousness. So this is what this energy is really about. It's about this bringing you to a new level of consciousness. The only way that you can do that is if you fall in love with yourself. And the only way you can do that is when you allow yourself to fall in love with yourself and you realize that this love that you're talking about, that you want to give to the other person or that you want from this other person is something that you need to give to yourself first. Okay, so I'm really uh, rushing through this video and uh, I, I'm not going into great lengths to explain this. I feel like I've done this so many times before and I have another video which I, might, I did last year on the 11th uh, of November, which I'll link up here somewhere, and uh, yeah, it's it's where I talk a bit about that. But um, if you want me to talk more about this, let me know down in the comment section, and then I will make a video uh, on this. I'm always aware of the fact that I don't want these videos to be too long because I know that I have a very short attention span, and when I go onto YouTube, I don't want to watch anything that's longer than five minutes. So uh, yeah, so basically, I, I'm expecting that some of you are the same, and. Um, it is really kind of you for those of you who say, well, you know, speak for as long as you like. You know, we really appreciate it. I really appreciate that from you. Really, I do. Uh, but I do think that um, most of you want something that's short and snappy and quick and to the point so you can get on with your life. So, uh, but if you want something deeper, then just let me know down uh, below. Okay, so that's the, f the second section of this twin flame status, so to say, or the soul connection status. And then the last status... The last one would be where you actually have connected with your soul, your, your, this person, this, your, the person that you're in love with, the person that you have a soul connection with. You would have connected with this person by now. And this is not the natural uh, course for most of you, okay? It's not going to necessarily end up there. But for those of you who have ended up, oh, you are in a relationship with your soul, um, with your twin, twin flame or your, the person that you're connected to on the soul level, the struggle is real, okay? You really need to be able to give it your all and to really um, prioritize respect, prioritize uh, yourself, ensure that you give yourself love and understand that that person is a mirror to you in every single moment, in every single second, and that your energy impacts them and their energy impacts you. So it's really important to stay clear and to stay pure and to stay in love and not to be um, in a state of toxicity. And, and that doesn't just mean in terms of drinking or eating something that's toxic. That's talking about in terms of your thoughts, in terms of your heart. How is your heart? You know, sarcasm, um, dissatisfaction that's displayed in today's society that's almost uh, seen as a norm is something that's really toxic to the soul and to the relationship so if you're bringing that into your relationship your relationship is going to be suffering and your soul journey has not stopped you are still working you are still struggling you're still there to bring something to this world that's really beautiful and the only way that you can do that is by respecting each other and respecting yourself as well so take that into account let me know if you want me to talk more about that as well I can do that and um, yeah good luck to to you I want so basically it's the 11th of November I started uh, shooting this version of this uh, video <laughs> uh, this take of this video like at exactly 11 11 my time uh, which is Central European time and uh, it's, um, yeah, I think it's amazing how far we've come with this energy. And I really am celebrating this energy. I wanted to, um, and in, in last year when I did the, the video, I actually uh, drew a card from my very personal deck, my very first deck, actually. It's a very special deck to me. And I wanted to do that today, but I was uh, on the, on, on the, on a, I'm around and about and I've forgotten to bring that set of tarot cards with me. So when I get home, I will actually uh, draw a card for the energy of uh, the twin flame as we have it or the soul connection as we have it for the year ahead, okay? And I will try to do this video on a yearly basis and sometimes it will be a little less rushed and a little bit more in depth than today has today's has been so all hi there again so basically as i mentioned when i got home i would do a one card reading just to determine the status or the energy as we have it for the soul connections all right so i'm going to go ahead and give these cards a shuffle 
Okay. Huh. So we had the Two of Cups reversed. So this card talks to me about an energy or a love that needs to be fulfilled that has not been fulfilled. It, it talks about a love that can be falling below expectations, but it also talks about a love that needs to be brought into the right path. It's almost like love gone astray and it needs to be brought together. The year ahead is about bringing true love together. It's about bringing the, the soul connections together. It's about understanding that this love that you have doesn't need to fall below your expectations, but actually can meet your expectations and can be the, the real thing that you desire. It's just a matter of changing one's perspective. This card here can also refer to a connection that doesn't come together at the right time. That means the timing is off. So this is this card here, or this this actual the meaning of this is actually that your your connection is real and it's delayed in coming forth. It's delayed in coming forth or it's just falling below expectations. So it's almost as if you're not receiving what it is that you wanted from this. It's almost like it's like 90% there, but it isn't. Oh, it's like they coming forth or they they there with you in a relationship, but it's like it doesn't really matter because they are not doing what they need to be doing to make you feel like they're in a relation like you in this relationship. So it could be also that um, there is something that you just can't tell them, that you just can't, they might be your best friend, they might be everything to you, but there's something that's not filled, some hole that they have not been able to um, fill in them that makes them feel like this is maybe not right, or they know it's right, or you know it's right, but there's just something missing in all of this, and the the quest is to find what it is that's missing, all right? So all of you who have these soul connections, remember that you are blessed. You are in a state of being, uh, you are in a state of divine power. You are in a state of being part of uh, an energy that's new, that's bringing great change and bringing a shift in consciousness here on this planet. And so see yourself as a beacon of this light that you actually are and go with it. Hold it proudly and don't sink into um, 3D type of energy. You know, what I mean by that, I'm sure most of you know what I'm talking about, right? But what I mean by that, for those of you who don't, is don't, don't sink into this kind of uh, feeling irritated, feeling frustrated, wanting something, desiring something, being unhappy in terms of your love. It's just not going to help this energy evolve, all right? You are responsible for this energy as everyone else is. So help it to move you, help it to heal you, and you can do the same for others by simply releasing any difficulties that you have, any frustrations that you have. Bring yourself into a zen-like space and give this world and give yourself and give all around you, especially the one that you love, the love that you truly have inside of you. Don't hide it away. There's no reason to hide it away. You can actually just let it come out. And part of letting it coming out is healing yourself. So see where you need to heal yourself and take care of that. And give yourself that love that you desire so that you may give that out into the world. All right, I'm going to leave you with that. And I want to say thank you to all my subscribers. Thank you to all the people who comment on my videos. I really appreciate all your comments. I read them all. And uh, thank you for all the likes. They make a big difference in terms of bringing people to the channel. And um, yeah, I do appreciate that. Uh, I never ask you to subscribe because I think it's you should do that of your own volition. But I do want to say I do really appreciate all of you who do come by to the channel. Even those of you who haven't subscribed and who are regularly coming by to my channel. I know there are tons of you. <laughs> okay, so uh, I just want to say thank you to all of you again. And blessings abound from Kismet Rising. Take excellent care of you.